besties. Here I am with Ellis. He's all dressed in his winter vest. He wanted Auntie Holly to see that he's got his shorts, his long socks and his jumper on. I hope you can see him, Ollie. Um, Holly. You said you'd like to see him and there he is dressed for winter. But I've actually come on, not so much to show you his posh outfit that he's got now, but I wanted also to come on and do a tag that I have been tagged in. Um, I was tagged in it by Deirdre's Hobby and Lupus Life. I love Deirdre, I really do. Anyway, the thing is, besties, she said there was 13 questions, but I've gone through it and gone through it and gone through it, and I can only find 12. I've watched it three times. I'm obviously missing something, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the tag now. It's actually based on Halloween, so there's going to be some Halloween questions. And as Deirdre quite rightly pointed out, it's lent more towards the USA. It's quite Americanized, but I will do my best to answer the questions as if, yeah, I was there. Right. So here we go. So it says, as in trick or treat, you're going to get a bucket full of sweets. Which would I prefer? Number one, choc, as in chocolate, candy or fruity. Now, I don't eat sweets, but if I had to, I think I would say chocolate. Number two, for Halloween, which would I prefer? Witches or vampires? Now, I've got to admit, I'm a bit of a scary film fanatic, so I'd probably go vampires. Something with a bit of bite. That's more me. Number three, trick or treat. Now, hmm, I have a real mischievous side to me, so I'm going to say trick. We go trick for that one. Number four, Halloween party or a scary film. Now, I like a good scary film, but in the same vein, I love getting together with my family. And my daughter, Kirsty, she's the middle of my daughters, she loves Halloween. She also loves Christmas, but we're talking Halloween at the moment. She loves Halloween and she always puts on a fantastic Halloween party. Um, she was able to la was unable to last year and it looks because of what's going on, she's going to be unable to this year. But we will do our best. So my choice for scary movie or Halloween party would be Halloween party. Number five, skeletons or zombies? Mm, I think zombies. Why? Because they're a little bit more scary than skeletons. And in the same vein, I think that that would be why I would choose that. Sorry, the picture went out and I had to move it. Sorry. Right, number six. Would I prefer a hay ride or a corn maze? Now, I personally would go for the hay ride. That would be my cup of tea there. That, that really would. I do not like mazes of any kind, whether they are hedges, bricks, hay bales stacked up. I do not like mazes. The reason for that is I find them very claustrophobic and I get very panicky. It was only in spring of this year that I went to Leeds Castle and we went round their wonderful maze. It's a gorgeous maze, so well. But I was absolutely petrified. I got a bit panicky. I don't know what way to go. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be a hayride for me, I'm afraid, on that one. Number seven, a scary costume or a funny costume? Well, I think that depends what mood you're in coming up to the day. Now, the last costume I wore was definitely a funny one. So maybe I'm going to go with funny this time. I went as a bag of uh, sweets and I put on a big clear plastic bag with my head out of it, my arms for it. And we blew up all these little water balloons and I was a bag of sweets. The grandchildren loved it. I think I was the only adult that dressed up. Unusually, my daughter Charlotte likes to dress up as well. So scary costume or funny costume. I'm going to go funny this time. Do our number eight, pumpkin seeds or pumpkin pie. Now, I haven't tried either, um, but I have been told by many people that pumpkin, pumpkin pie is delicious. So I might go for that. 
Number nine, bottle, feed a baby zombie or walk through a scary woods at night alone. Now, I'd rather feed the zombie because I know I've got it. I've got hold of it. It's only little. I'm going to go with that. I used to live right out in the country and we used to, I used to have to walk a lot in the dark of my own and I hated it then and it's left me hating the dark now. That's not going to happen, is it? No. So, yeah, bottle feed a zombie, please. Ten, rats or black cat. Now, as you can see, I've got my little black cat sitting over there with our friend Ellis, so I would definitely go for black cat. Why? Because I'm petrified of rats, okay? Absolutely petrified of rats. I know they're gory, I know they're Halloween-y, but I'm gonna go black cat. Number 11, pumpkin spice or a hot chocolate? Hmm, hot chocolate for me, please. But I have been told that pumpkin spice is particularly nice in like those, um, cold coffees you know i've been told that they're delicious but apparently in america or wherever i saw this lady making it it is only for halloween they don't do it all the time a pumpkin pie spice mix to put in your drink yeah so i'm going to go for a hot chocolate with all the trimmings please thank you and the last one is would i like to celebrate in my neighborhood or would I like to go to the mall? Now, the mall, obviously, is in America, but we do have shopping um, precincts or so shopping malls, buildings, whatever. Now, I, I think I would rather celebrate in my neighbourhood, as in with my close friends and family and neighbours. So that's it, yeah. And as I say, that's from Deirdre's Hobby and Lupus Life. And I love it. Thank you, Deidre. I enjoyed every minute of this one. And so did Ellis. Look, he's looking straight into the camera. I think he's waiting for everybody else to give a tag a go so we can listen to their answers. So if you get a chance, everybody, please give this tag a go. Thumbs up to whoever tries. Thumbs up who don't feel they can quite do it. But that's OK, because we love you all, besties. I'm going to love you and leave you. Have a good day. Love you loads. Bye for now.